What you guys got another video here for you on fixing the snipping tool not working on Windows 11. Now if you've upgraded to Windows 11 or you've installed Windows 11 you're probably going to end up with this. This app cannot open and it wants you to refresh your PC because it's broken and this is a known issue from Microsoft and there is no real fix for it and I tried quite a few fixes what I see and none of them worked but I did find one fix that did work and I'll show you that in this video. So let's first go ahead and take a look at some of the things that you can try to try and resolve uh, this issue where it says the app can't open. And it wants you to click on this button here and refresh your PC, which is something that a lot of people don't want to do. Now, the first important step to do is when you first install Windows 11 or you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 is to make sure that you've got the very latest Windows 11 updates you need to go into settings and then click on Windows updates and check for Windows updates here. This is important because the fix that I'm going to show you will not work unless you've got all of the latest updates installed on the system. So get all of the latest updates. Now Microsoft do know about this bug and they're looking for a fix for it. So make sure you install all of the latest updates, download them and install them and then reboot your computer. Now this one is a bit of a tricky one because I've seen quite a few tutorials online suggesting to do a certain stuff and I've tried all those things and they don't work but I'm going to go through some of them in this video because I want to make sure that you don't miss anything and if if this does fix your problem then hopefully one of these uh, solutions will fix it. But you can see here I've done the Windows updates. I'm going to check Windows Ver here and you can see the Windows version I'm running here. So I'll show you how to uh, go about fixing this. So let's go ahead and quickly update this and then move on to the next section. Now what I try to do on my channel is to show you real issues that are actually a problem and show you how to fix them. I try not to show you just an image of something and then talk about stuff that might fix it because that is not really fixing the problem. It's actually just following something online and I don't want to do that. I want to show you real issues that you can see with this PC and show you how I would go about fixing them. That's what my channel's all about. So you can see I've got all the latest updates and what we're gonna do next is reboot the system and then continue on with the fix. Now another fix that I see online was to uninstall this security update which is KB500-6674. I never had this file on my system in the first place and yet the problem was still with the snapping tool. So. For me, that fix is not a solution because obviously it's not on my system. But if you do want to try that, you can do. But I wouldn't personally try it because it's not worth it because it wasn't on my system and I still had the issue with the snipping tool not opening. So let's move on to another solution. Now, a fix that Microsoft suggested on one of their help forums was to turn on the clipboard and clipboard history, and this will resolve the issue. So I'll go to uh, the clipboard history here on system on the right hand side here you should see clipboard and you can turn this on so you can see here the clipboard history is turned off so what I will do is go up to the top right hand side and turn this on and they're saying that this resolves the issue uh, for me I find it very strange why you would think that would work but apparently that's what resolves the issue so I'll go ahead and let's try and see if the snipping tool works so I'm just doing these so you can save your time, but you can see here it didn't resolve the issue. I did try to restart the system and it still didn't work. So let's move on to another thing that we can try here. Go into settings here and I'm going to just go into apps and then inside apps and features. We're going to go in here and this was another solution that Microsoft suggested, which was going down to the snipping tool and we're going to go all the way down here until we see snipping tool. Uh, there it is there i've just gone past it there it is there and uh, we can now click on this and there is little three dots here click on these and go to advanced options once you're in here you're going to get app permissions and you're going to get uh, background and app permissions here it says power optimized recommended and there's a bunch of other stuff like reset repair and terminate and uninstall so this is where we can literally terminate the uh, the service and then try to repair it so click on terminate and once we terminate the snipping tool, you can then click on repair and try to repair it. This is another suggestion that Microsoft said that sometimes resolves the problem. And I did mine. And again, I will go into snipping tool here. And 
as you can see here, it didn't work. And it was getting pretty frustrating, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there are pretty frustrated with it. So I'm going to go through some of the things here, terminate again, and do a reset. Let's go ahead and try to reset uh, the actual snipping tool here. And again, this was another suggestion that someone tried uh, on the Microsoft forums saying that this would uh, resolve the issue. So I went back into the snipping tool here. And again, we still have an issue with our snipping tool, as you'll see here, still not working. OK, so let's move on to the next thing, which will be uninstalling and reinstalling the snipping tool. Now, you would think that this would work. So let's go ahead and uh, try this fix on the system. So to do that, we're going to have to go into PowerShell and uh, go into PowerShell. So open up your search box and type in there PowerShell. So let's go ahead and do this. So type PowerShell in here. And we need to run this as administrator. So click on Run as Administrator. Say yes to the user account control. And this will open up the PowerShell window as administrator, as you can see here. We're going to type in this command here. And this will remove uh, the snipping tool from uh, the system. This was another fix that someone suggested on the Microsoft forum to do. And then they also said put in this command, which will then re-download and reinstall uh, the actual snipping tool itself. I tried this and of course it didn't work. So quite frustrated, but you can see here, uninstall and reinstall. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is take a quick look here to see whether it worked. I know it don't work because I've already tried. So let's go ahead and open up the snipping tool. I'm just going to show you these because I think one of these might fix yours. If it doesn't, then you can move on to the fix, which I'll show you at the very end that work for me. You can skip the video if you wish and go all the way to the end. But one of these fixes may fix your issue. So it's worth trying them before you try the one that I tried at the end, just in case that doesn't work. You will need to make sure that your system is fully updated. So you can see it's going to start to update the system and start to put our updates on. And what I'm going to do here is restart the system again and get back to the desktop and we can continue on with trying to resolve the snipping tool not opening or working. So let's have a look at the fix itself. So a lot of people are frustrated with this not working, but this is what worked for me. So go down to the right hand side here, right click on the clock and adjust time and settings. Inside here, you need to set the time automatically and turn this off. And then you need to go down and set the time and date manually. Now I tried to put in here the 31st of October. I don't know why this works, but it does. Just go into here and put the 31st of October or the 31st of September or whatever it is you need to put in there and then click OK. And then we can try to open up our snipping tool. Now, when you click on this, it doesn't work here for some reason. But when you type snipping tool inside the search box and open it, it does work. So it won't work if you click on this bit, but it works on the open bit. Once it's open, you click new and it now works. Why that works, I really don't know, uh, but it's some sort of bug, uh, but that actually fixes the problem. So when now we've got it working, we can now go back into our clock and change it back to automatically uh, set the time. So you can see here, I'm just taking screenshots and it's all working. So I'm gonna go back down and you can see we're all still in October here. I'm gonna right click and go adjust time and date and literally set the time automatically. And that should now put our time back to the way it was. Now you can see when I go back here and click on this snipping tool, it actually opens and it actually works now. So what a strange fix that is for Windows 11. I can't believe that actually fixed the snipping tool by changing the date and time. It's crazy. It really is. But that's basically it, really. That's how I fixed the snipping tool not opening or working on Windows 11. It's a very frustrating uh, situation to be in when you use the snipping tool quite a bit and it doesn't work. So that is the fix that I wanted to show you. I could have showed you that right at the very beginning, but there was some important steps in there, like updating your version of Windows. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Don't forget to share the video with your friends if you feel they need to know about this fix. And I uh, just want to say a big shout out to my YouTube members. Their names are rolling up on the screen right now. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.